That generator needs stopping up. Time to get some petrol. Welcome to part 19. If I check the backpack, you will see that I'm carrying a flare and grenades and a mine. We will need them on this particular mission. So now, let us go and get some petrol. As we are now back in Brick Lane Markets, it is now time for us to use the mine. And there is the reason why. We have a red flame zombie in the distance. Make sure it doesn't detect us first. And then plant the mine as quick as we can. trying to get the zombie with a shot in the body and it should head towards us and hopefully go across the mine one zombie blown up also looks as if we have a zombie heading towards us so time to get out the shotgun comes another one now that we've killed those two we can check for loot and loot the body of the red flaming zombie that we blew up as it normally contains a weapons upgrade in this case it is carrying a firepower upgrade so we might as well take it with us Now there is a zombie ahead of us in the distance. There it is. Now that we have cleared all the zombies in this particular area, it's now time to get a flare and grenade ready for the next particular area that we're going to head into. Also, it's best at this point if we get out the silenced pistol. We now need to head to the left of the ambulance as we have a lone zombie hiding over in the corner. And there it is. And it is a punk zombie. So get ready for when you hit it to throw the flare. As we're going to have a few zombies heading into the area. Now we lob the grenade and wait. Oh dear, it looks as if we haven't killed it. Now we have. But we have two zombies now heading towards us. So we retreat a bit and let the first one get close. Take it out. And now we can get rid of the second one. There she is. 
Right, that's that done. Now we scan and check for loot. And this particular area is now cleared. I'm now going to take a slight little detour. Because I'm going to blow something up. We take the D letter, the weapons upgrade and the Molotov cocktail and now we go back through the hole and can continue with the mission. But first I'm going down to re-loot the body of the first zombie I blew up for the Molotov cocktail. Just checking to see how much space I have in my backpack. And now we can continue with the mission. Now we head down this particular section. then head to the left as we need to find the door code scan the wall to the left of the door and it should give you the first two numbers that zombie is dead so don't worry about it and now we scan this wall here to give us the second set of two numbers With that done, we can now open this coded raven's door. And with that done, we can now leave Brick Lane Markets, navigate through this particular little section, once we go through the exit door, we'll emerge in the first area of Spitalfields Green. And now that we are in the area, we have some very nice challenges in front of us. Go through this door and up the next ladder. And through the metal door. It is advisable to scan the section of water as sometimes there is some ammunition in this area. And as you can see, in the wall over there, we have a ladder to climb. Before we climb it, get out the silence pistol. You should see a park coming up ahead. The petrol station's just past there. Looks as if we have a radar jammer nearby as our radar has stopped working. So in the meantime, shoot the body of the zombie directly in front of us in the head. And then there's a body directly the other side of the suitcase. Shoot that one. Get it to wake up and head towards us. Now wait for the sound of two explosions as two zombies are going to blow themselves up. With that done, you can now proceed forward and get out the uh, silence pistol. 
as we need to take out the radar jammer. There it is. And now that our radar is working, scan the bodies to see if they carry any loot. And lo and behold, we have a minefield in front of us. Mind your step. Someone's laid down traps for the infected, which is smart, but they'll get you just as easily. Be careful. Scan to pick up as many mines as you can, so you know where they are. As we will blow them all up. But first, we are going to head down through this gap in the wall and open this door because we have a zombie in there we need to blow up. One exploding zombie destroyed. At this point, we now get out the sniper's rifle so we blow up some of the mines in this minefield so we can navigate through here without blowing ourselves up. We can now leave the park from this side as we've blown up the mines that we can in this area. We will now work our way around to the other side. First of all we'll open this door and lo and behold yet again our radar is frozen so we have another radar jammer nearby. look through the gap in the gates here and there it is. With that taken out we can now scan. Scan the bodies in there and we have a capacity upgrade but most importantly now we have our map for the area. Work your way round carefully round the edge of this wall head up to this gate and we can now take out the mines on this side of the park Now that we have cleared the minefield, we can continue with our mission. Shall we open the gate that is in front of us? But rather going up the ladder first, turn and go along the edge of the park and go through the hole in the wall. 
open this door over here and as you can see we have some rubble to plant the C4 and go into the shed to protect yourself. Now that the blast is over, crawl through the hole and there we have a bigger backpack and not forgetting the spread upgrade that is on the floor. Now back through the hole in the wall and across to the other side of the park. We can now go up the ladder. Now that we are on this roof section, go over to the far side by the window, turn around and then scan to reveal a weapons upgrade which we then pick up. And then if you scan down below you, we will see that we have three zombies down below us. So now is the time to use the flare and grenade. Throw the flare into the corner, over there, wait for the zombies to get up and then throw down the grenade. Now with them blown up you are free to drop down to the next section, but line yourself up with the lid of the dumpster below and you won't take any damage. jump onto its lid and down you go. Now that you are down here you can scan the bodies for loot and pick up whatever loot you need. At this point in the video, once I've picked up the loot, I am going to return to the safe house. As I've got a larger bob I'm going to pick up some supplies. So this mission will continue in video number 20 when we return to this area and head towards the petrol station.